What's up everyone? You might have a task where you have to find duplicate values in a single column or duplicate rows in multiple columns. Excel has a built-in feature that allows you to do this called conditional formatting. But in this video, I'm going to show a way you can get the row numbers where the duplicate values appear with one formula. This Excel formula will do everything for you, allowing you to search for duplicate values or duplicate rows based on a selected range of cells. From columns A to C, we have the values for name, age and city. We have duplicate values appearing in column A for names like John and Emily. In column E, we have a list of unique names from column A that we want to look up and see what row numbers the duplicate values appear in. First off, let me show you what the function I made can do. In cell F2, I'll type out equals to duplicate row nums. And we have the description, the custom function is used to find the row numbers for all duplicate values based on the reference lookup values. If I do tab, we have five arguments here, which are all mandatory. The first argument being range, the values that we want to look at from cells A2 to A9, I'm gonna freeze both references, comma. The lookup value, in this case, will be the values in cell E2 to E7. So I'm just gonna reference cell E2 only for John, since we want to see if John is a duplicate value in column A, we see column reference only. If there are no duplicates found, then we want to return a certain message. So I'm going to say no dupes found. Comma. Now, do we want to match for case sensitive values or case insensitive values? If we want to match for case sensitive, then we can just enter true. Otherwise, we could enter false. And do we want to return it as a row output or as a column? So in this case, I want to return it as a row. So I'll enter true. If I want to return it as a column, then I would enter false. Close this out. Press enter. And we get back a list of values 2, 6, and 9. So what this means is that John appears in row 2 in column A, row 6, and row 9. So they're all duplicate values. If we want to output it as a column instead of a row, then I could just change this from a true to a false. Press enter. And we get it formatted like this this time. But let's go back to outputting it as a row only. So that it's easier to drag the formula down. Now if I drag this down, we get back Emily as rows 3 and 8. So I'll just color this as orange. Emily appears in row 3 and another Emily appears in 8. If I drag this down again, we get back the value of no dupes found, meaning that Michael isn't a duplicate value in column A since this only appears one time. And the same goes for Sarah and David, no dupes found. So let's test for other arguments like the case sensitive argument. If I change this from a capital J lowercase o h n John to something like all caps John, press enter. We get back 2 and 9 this time for this row, and we get a new value for John added here for all uppercase, no dupes found. But if I wanted to do case insensitive matches, then what I can just do is that I can change this from true to false. And we get back 2, 6, 9 again. I'll just fill the function down to the very last row, and we get back the rows for 2, 6, 9 for proper case John, and 2, 6, 9 again for capital John. So the case doesn't matter here. You can also do other things like combining different functions with this custom function. For example, if you want to count the number of rows returned, then you can use the count function. If I do count of this whole thing, we get back the value of three for three rows. This function is extremely flexible and dynamic. You can return any values you want if there are no duplicate values found. You can choose to search for case sensitive or case insensitive values, and you can choose to output the result as a row or column, but there is one more thing this function can do. It can not only search for row numbers of duplicate values in any single column, but you can also search for duplicate rows in multiple columns. In this worksheet, duplicate rows, I have the exact same table as the first one I've shown you before, but this time we're going to look up multiple values as you can see in columns E, F, and G. We want to search for duplicate rows which can be found in rows 2 and 9. In cell H2, I'm going to type out the same function again. But this time we're going to reference the range from A2 down to C9. The lookup value, we're going to use the hstack function and reference the array1 as cell E2. Array2 as the lookup range or cell F2. And array3 as the lookup city, which is in G2. Now that was the only different thing we would do. For the last three arguments, you can use whatever values you want. So if no duplicates, we want to say no duplicates found. Case sensitive will be true. And we want to return it as a row. If I press enter, we get back the values for rows 2 and 9. 
just like I said before. Now, another way to represent the second argument, if you don't want to reference these cells directly, or you see h tag function, you can just type out in a open curly brace, John, comma, the number 25, and comma, New York, and close curly brace, press enter, and we get back the same numbers again. Now, let's go over how to create the formula for finding duplicate row numbers. This formula might seem like a lot to take in, so let's break it down step by step. First, let's focus on the first line, which are the variables for the lambda function to be used inside the let function. We went over these before, but they are the range, lookup value, if no duplicates, case sensitive, and return as row variables. Next, we're going to go for everything in the let function. The first variable we have is the call range val, which will store the value from the range variable. Lookup val will store the value from the lookup value variable. If no duplicates val, will store the value from the if no duplicates variable. Case sensitive val will store the value from the case sensitive variable. And return as row val will store the value from the return as row variable. The match logic variable is used to match for case sensitive or case insensitive values for one or more columns on a row by row basis. Call range output uses the filter function and the row function to filter for row numbers that satisfy the match logic. In other words, this variable will return all the row numbers that match the lookup value. Since we want to look for specifically duplicate values, we will use the final output variable to return all row numbers if the number of rows is greater than one. Otherwise, return a user entered message, which could be something like no duplicates found. The last line is used to return the row numbers as either a column format or a row format. Finally, we can close the formula out with the parentheses. If you want to turn the formula into its own custom function, then that's very easy to do. Just copy everything right after the equal sign, then go to the name manager in the formulas tab, click on new. We can just give this a name, dupe row num. This function finds the duplicate row numbers based on a selected range and lookup value. And just paste the formula you copied in the refers to box right after the equal sign. And now it's been added to the workbook. So if I do equals to dupe row num, we have access to this now. That's pretty much it on how you can use a single Excel formula to find duplicate values or rows based on any selected columns. If you guys found this video to be helpful, then please like and comment down below what else you'd want to see. And if you haven't already, subscribe. You can also follow me on Instagram and LinkedIn to get notified the next time I upload a video. Until then, I'll see you guys again next time.